you know what time it is. It's Netflix original time. It's time to put the fear of God into any watcher willing to push that play button on this service. You don't know if you're going to get something amazing. Chances are slim that it's going to be that. And you're never quite sure if you're going to get something utter rubbish. And the chances are fairly high that you're going to get that. Malevolent is a new horror movie on Netflix that I was instantly attracted to. Some nice poster art, a nice little blurb that I thought, yep, I'm willing to click play and take my chances on this one. And surprise, it was set in Scotland. So already, it's getting two thumbs up from this guy because being Scottish, I'd quite like to see my country uh, on film. So <laughs> it's as simple as that. I was with it. This is about two uh, brother and sister, Jackson and Angela, who run a scamming business. They pretend to go to people's houses and cleanse the spirits. This house is free. They like to uh, go put on a show pretend to exercise whatever demons or spirits are there, take the cash and run fleecing these poor people. Now, Angela is having a tough time at, it at the moment because her mother has died and there is a backstory of her having a gift which now seems to have passed on to Angela. She is starting to see ghostly, spooky and creepy images as well as the resulting nosebleeds and fainting spells that come with this. Jackson, whoever, doesn't really care. He's only interested in the money. He has loan sharks after him and he wants to get the next big paycheck to try and get himself from under their feet. So when an offer comes in, it's almost too good to be true to go to this large mansion to clear uh, multiple spirits of a, a, an orphanage that was killed by, by the woman that ran its son. He wants to take it. Angela, because she's uh, having a little bit of chaos at the moment because her mother's just died, she's starting to see visions, she's not quite sure what's happening and she's failing uh, at university, doesn't want to do it. But Jackson, being the typical con man that he is, talks her into going along on this job. And that's where, as you could probably guess, everything hits the fan. I was really into Malevolent right from the start. I liked the whole uh, setup of the, the, the fake clearing the spirits, you know, setting up the cameras, playing tapes. This is set in the 80s as well, so there's no um, say mobile phones or, or any of that kind of technology. It's all big cameras they use and it's tape machines and they're playing ghostly sounds. She's pretending to clear spirits. It's all fun and well done. And you kind of know that when they get to the, the large mansion that there is going to be some real spooky action to come. So you have this first, I'd say, hour of a 90-minute movie that really does pretty well with building up the tension and ramping up the atmosphere that we have here. Angela was a character that I kind of liked almost instantaneously. Jackson is one of those people that you like, but you would never trust at all. Um, so I was interested to see these interactions. And there is a couple of other people that, that flesh out the team and they go to this house. They meet Mrs. Green, the person that owns there, who is hearing giggling and laughing noises from the kids who were murdered there. And she wants the spirits gone. And it's up to this duo to clear them. And it's nice to see some familiar um, actors in this movie. It's not a completely low budget thing. They do have some decent special effects. They do have some nice atmosphere about the movie. There is nice moments where they have cameras all over the house and they're watching it. And it almost feels a little bit like a found footage movie, but a decent one as it moves into these kind of cameras showing you strange aspects uh, of uh, the filmmaking or, or strange corners or angles you wouldn't normally see in regular filmmaking, which was really nice to uh, take into. Unfortunately, I feel that the last half hour of the movie, it really loses the plot, quite literally, uh, as it sort of ramshackles things together, which I won't tell you here because I'm not going to spoil it for you in case you do watch it, because like I said, I do feel that the first hour is definitely worthwhile, definitely worth checking out. But Malevolent for me was a movie that gave me a little bit of hope as I started the movie. It built it up with the atmosphere, with the characters, with the ghostly aspirations that we were seeing and the way it was filmed was really nicely well done. But ultimately, it couldn't stick the landing. And for me, it kind of left me wanting more, wanting a sort of better ending, hoping that there is something better to be there. But this is based on a book and it's probably following that storyline and it can't really deviate too much from there because it's already set the groundwork in the first hour of the movie. And I think it's something that's worth checking out. It's October, it's horror month, you're looking for something to stick on. This is 90 minutes, it's entertaining mostly and it does have some good scares. I gave it 3 out of 5. I'd love to know your opinion of the movie so let me know in the comment box below and we'll have a little discussion about it. And I'll see you next time on Man vs. Phil.